Hello there, and welcome to another one of our Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online language lessons. As if the world wasn't dark enough already, this week we woke up to hear news of the horrific school shooting in Uvalde in Texas where more than 20 people were killed. It's the latest in a seemingly endless string of mass shootings across the United States. And every time one of these mass shooting massacres occurs, the rest of the world looks on astounded, wondering why the United States government doesn't do more to crack down on gun ownership. Sadly, the answer seems to be that the gun lobby there is just too powerful to upset. A lobby is an organised group of people who act together in a concerted way to persuade the government to do things or to not do things. So you often hear about, for example, oil lobby groups or, on the other side of the fence, the environmental lobby. You have the tobacco lobby, but you also have the anti-smoking lobby. And basically, there are obviously different ways that lobbies and lobby groups put pressure on the government. They donate to particular political parties and sometimes to particular politicians. People often complain that certain politicians are in the pockets of the big lobby groups. Lobby can also be used as a verb, of course. So what the gun lobby does is lobby hard against any changes to the gun laws. They have advertising campaigns, their members send emails, they use social media. They have all kinds of different ways of putting pressure on the government. So you can lobby for changes to the law or you can lobby against changes to the law. You might lobby for tax cuts or you might lobby against tax cuts. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button, share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues. And if you have any examples of lobby groups or groups lobbying the government, We'd love to hear about them in the comments section below. 